Everybody knows that on a construction project, you need to budget for labor, plant, and materials. But where do you cover project management and insurances? What about your business's IT system? Our direct costs are the physical costs of building a construction project. These are made up of four components, labor, plant, materials, and subcontract. These are the costs for things like pouring concrete, installing structural steel, or pulling electrical cables. They contribute to the finished product our client sees. Our indirect costs are the cost of running the construction project that aren't directly attributable to any specific part of the finished product. These are going to be things like our project manager salary, our security fencing, or a security guard to come through the construction project at night and check everything is safe. These are going to be broken up into recurring and non-recurring costs. Non-recurring costs are one-off mobilization and demobilization costs, costs for doing inductions. Recurring costs are driven by the duration of the project like your project manager salary. That's why understanding how long something takes to build is gonna impact the cost. Direct plus indirect gives us our total project cost, the cost of all the resources we need to do the project. What this doesn't factor in is any uncertain events or condition. How much is it gonna rain? What are the ground conditions gonna be like? That's our risk and opportunity. And then on top of that, we need a price we're gonna bill our client for so we're making money. That's where we apply our profit margin and corporate overheads. Corporate overheads are our non-specific business running costs that aren't directly attributable to any project like tendering for new work or the cost of our IT system. Together, they give us our sell price, which is what we bill our client for doing the work.